I have highlighted my, my concerns. For example, issues of overcrowding. So Iranian prisons and detention places have, have been overcrowded. That, you know, that is, uh, that is a very disturbing feature. There's also this disturbing feature of lack of hygiene and sanitation. Um, so this was a recipe for diseases. The situation uh, on coronavirus is highly disturbing within Iran. Um, the, the, di the disease has spread uh, widely. It has been a rapid uh, expansion since the first two reported deaths that we, um, we the information that we received uh, took place in Qom on the 19th of February. The current figures uh, that we have are uh, that there are, these are official figures, that there are uh, around 300 deaths uh, and there are uh, approximately 8,000 people, uh, 8,000 cases of this disease. Um, in my estimation, um, the state has done too little and too late. These include uh, the temporary release of 70,000 um, um, individuals who have been convicted, but these uh, releases are only restricted to convictions of individuals up to five years. So that does not include um, people who have been charged and convicted of uh, national security offenses. Uh, or serious crimes, and also uh, dual and foreign nationals. There are um, efforts being made to establish uh, humanitarian corridors, and there is already work that's, that's being done to, to support Iran's efforts to, uh, to deal with um, the issue of um, medical equipment, particularly as regards, um, you know, kits, and, and other relevant medication to, to deal with coronavirus. Uh, this, this situation, and in that sense also... Mm. Mohammadi and Nazrin.